change the battery and the microphone this time. Hopefully we don't have any more audio issues. Okay. No complaints. Okay. About our obvious. <laughs> yeah, the music was a little loud. I know, I know. We're trying to cover up our fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> trying to cover the fuck up. Alright. Mm -hmm. Cool work, palladium. Oh, this is a oh a day of the dead. Okay. Yeah. That's a that's, that's a good looking stick. Oh, I like that one. Yep. Nice and pink wrapped. It is huh? windy, windy. This is shit like a F5 tornado about to rip through this piece. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Cigar Titan here once again with my good friend brother Stogie. Using his finger to stir his drink. Not a bad idea. Wash my hand. I'm good. Say hello to the people. Titan fan. <laughs> That's right. And we are a day out from Thanksgiving, brother Sogi. Yeah, man. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we're thankful for uh -huh. on this episode. Yes. Wishing everybody a safe holiday. But yeah. this week, uh -huh. we're back with another LCC unboxing. That's right. We've got the core box and we've got the palladium. That's right. And we're gonna get into this. We are, along, along with some drinks to pair with. We'll let you know what we'll be drinking when we come back. Are you ready to get started? Let's give it to them. We tight, we tight, we ready? We're good, man. Welcome back, everybody. Like we said at the beginning of the episode, we are doing another LCC unboxing, day before Thanksgiving. Holiday version. Holiday version, but yes. man, it, if you guys hear anything, any ambient noise in the background, it's because it is literally windy as shit out here in Rancho Cucamonga today. Right, our winter time out here in SoCal is 75 degrees with 73 Wind, <laughs> right. seventy miles per hour winds. It's just that's winter nuts time at its there. peak right now. Right, bro. you can hear the door of the Stogie Den just rattling back and forth, back and forth. Yep, I think the Illuminati went on and turned <laughs> up the heat in Southern California because there's no snow on our mountains where it used to be snow. Right, on time every year, there's no snow at all. No. all heat. Illuminati, you see you. <laughs> just in California. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> they got it out for California. We don't get our winter until like February. It was just and two then we weeks. get like a, we get which, a couple of weeks and that's is, it. It's two weeks. We get three days of hardcore rain, a couple clouds. That's red. <laughs> Back to summer. That's red. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Stogie, let's talk a little bit about what we're drinking today. We've got uh, some festive holiday drink here. We do, man. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce this one first. This is called the Gold Bar. This was a gift from the old lady. That is Whoa. a fancy, fancy right. bottle. I like that. A beautiful ass bottle. So this is a California cast blended whiskey made from Sa San Francisco. Okay. So blended right out here is an 80 proof, 40% volume by alcohol by volume. Yes. Yes, all that. Blended number 889. 889. 889. Okay. And now, what are we what are we pairing it with in here today? It's holiday season, man. Tomorrow is the official day of Thanksgiving. That's right. And I have to go ahead and get some eggnog. Got to get some eggnog. Now, when you came over uh -huh. tonight, yes, you said, "Hey, I've I've got some eggnog and I've got a gold bar. You want some?" What did I say? He said, mm -mm, okay. "I don't do eggnog. I don't do eggnog." But everybody know that brother Stogie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I take care of myself. This is not your original eggnog. This is almond nog. It is, and this does not have the strange taste that I associate with eggnog. This is a very well balanced right? nog. Right, it's nice and soft. Right, very cool on the on the tongue. It's not thick, and seems like it might curdle with that old Newton yeah. full of fat. Dairy eggnog. Nah, it's nice, simple, and this right here is inside this right here. And we are we are pairing this with our cigars tonight. It almost kind of reminds me of like an Irish cream. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. But it's not. It's eggnog. Do y'all drink eggnog? A little throw in the comments down there if y'all drink eggnog. Who cool. likes who likes eggnog and who doesn't? That's that's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. 
So brother Stowe, we, brother Stowe, man, this, this ain't not getting quick. I just poured George, this is my third <laughs> one, shit. So if y'all see, I might, I might slur during this episode because this is my third eggnog. I am feeling very festive right, right now and I'm feeling damn good. Well, we had a good pre-holiday dinner. We did. You know, it's very nice. We weren't, you know, actually planning on having like a Friendsgiving this year. We both have a lot going on right now in our personal lives, but mm -hmm. We made it work. We, we did, man. Had some, had some nice dinner. Yeah. Said what we'll, we'll be thankful for. And yeah, brother came cry, in town. That's awesome. Cried cry a little bit. You yeah. know, we got a little emotional. Brother Stokey always gets emotional during say, saying what he's thankful for. Especially That's right. when it involves family. Yep. So before we get into what we're thankful for. Yes. The, one, the number one thing tonight we're thankful for is LuxuryCigarClub.com. That's com. right. Big shout out to LCC. Yeah. So if y'all don't know, if this is your first channel watching the Cigar Titans, LuxuryCigarClub.com is a monthly subscription service where you can go and pick a subscription service that you like, yes. preference to your budget, yes. from budget ties to those college campus new smokers, yep. to Super Baller, to those who've been smoking for quite a long time, and you got the cheese to fork over. <laughs> Not for cheese. The cheese to fork over <laughs> for the big baller box. That's right. And we got two of those boxes here today. So we've got the core box, which actually comes with four sticks, in the box this month. Typically yes. the core box comes with three. We got four sticks in the box this month. And then we've got, of course, the palladium box that we'll get into here shortly. Mm -hmm. But Brother Stogie, as always, because I slaughter the names of these cigars, I am going to pass the honor of the QR code I over got it, to man. you. You know, I had a lot of practice, you know what I'm saying? Working in corrections and my current job now, I've had a lot of practice you know, learning how to pronounce names. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, Wanquishas and, <laughs> you know, Jay, you know, Jay Quandas. <laughs> Jay Quandas. And, you know, Scott, Scott Shinovich. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of practice pronouncing names, so I'm pr pretty good at this thing right here. So. Yep, you're getting there. So what we do is, let me see. I have a phone right here somewhere. So, with the core box comes, and I'm pretty sure I've shown this on many, videos before with LuxuryCigarClub.com, but in case it's your first LCC video, inside the core box, you'll get this lovely card right here. See the QR code? Boom, right there. Put your camera on your phone, whatever smart device you use, and you'll get directed to their website. Boom, so that's what it looks like. So you'll go, right? You'll look for the month that we're in. This is for November 2021 core box, and this will pop up. You turn it sideways, and boom. There you go. Oh, oh. There's your sticks for November 2021. And it explains on why we got four cigars and not just three. So why do we have four cigars this month instead of three? So we have a, we have one or two that are unbanded. I guess we'll start with those. Let's start with those. So these- but Before we get started, we, yes. we gotta light up. We gotta light up. Okay. Tasting those like very bready, brandy, almost. Very bready. Brandy, like oat bread. Okay, brandy. Gotcha. Yeah, like brandy, you know what I mean? Like a, ba it's, it's a, it's a bacon note in there. Like, it just can't taste, like, almost like a- Like a bacon? Like, like a unsweetened cocoa? Or baking. Baking. Baking, gotcha. Like a, not bacon. Gotcha, gotcha. Not bacon. Like a, un, like an a- interesting flavor. Like a fresh, like a baking cocoa. Okay. Almost. Perfectly lit cigar right there. All right, so now we got our sticks lit. He's partially lit. Mm -hmm. Get a little little extra toast there. Let's get into this core box. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about the two unbanded cigars. So these two unbanded, this will be the 1500, 1502, okay? Global Premium Cigars, Cachitos. 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 Okay. Profile, full. You got that name. Right? Rapper Nicaragua, mm -hmm. Biner Nicaragua. Oh shit! Here we go. Filler Nicaragua in, Ooh, in Honduras. Oh no! <laughs> you fucking let that one drag. <laughs> in Honduras, Nicaragua in Honduras. This is a 5.5 .5 by 50 by Tola ring ring uh, cigar. I'm saying too many words. <laughs> Let me see. So the Cachito wears a Nicaraguan wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and fillers from Nicaragua and Honduras, making for a uniquely strong body with a touch of Cuban-esque sweetness. Okay. We're including two Cachitos, so share one with a friend or enjoy both of them. 
Mm, okay. MSRP, $11. Now, it, does it say in there, is it $11 per, per stick or is it $11 for two? I'm assuming it's $11 for one, they just gave two of them. Okay, that works. Okay. I LCC, will. if you're watching, let us know. Right? If it's two for $11, you want to know. There you go. Oh, that's the right issue, but you want. There we go. There we go. Ooh, there you go. Get that cherry nice and red. Sometimes you gotta take a couple of deep drags to make sure that your cigar is fully lit. Yeah, sometimes they're slow starters. All right. All right. So, moving on, what is next in the box? We are going to do the... Let's go to the PDM. I was thinking the same thing. So this is a PDM, which stands for Perla Del Mar Corojo Toro. That's a good looking box press right there. Profile of this bad boy is medium. Wrapper's Ecuadorian. Binder, Nicaragua. Filler, Nicaragua. This is a 6x25 in length by 54 ring gauge cigar. Let's see, this one here mm, features filler leaves from four growing readers of Nicaragua and topped off with a creamy Ecuador, Ecuadorian Corojo wrapper. This cigar has a Tampa style press, a slight box press to accentuate its flavors. To what, its flavors? To accentuate. Okay. Accentuate. I like that word. A-C-C-E-N. Chew wait. Chew wait. I love Chew it. <laughs> I love it. MSRP of this bad boy is only $7.10. Okay. Right? That's a good deal. Now, we are going to be doing best band in the box, and I already have a couple in mind for best band in the box. And this next one. But it might be my best band in the box. Right here is a good looking stick. What do we got? So, this one here, be it that we just finished up the season for Diaz. Dia de los Muertos, where you go ahead and you honor those you in your, in your family Dios lineage who have tips. passed on, build your altar, put all the things on the altar that they like, as far as foods, etc., etc. Nice picture to show everybody the memoriam of who your loved one was. This cigar is for that reason. So I think I'm going to save this cigar for next year's Dia de los Muertos I'm and smoke it on that day. I'm glad somebody's saying it because Dia de los Muertos. I ain't got it. This is a Donnelly Honduras Katrina de Mi Vida, Connecticut. Let me say that one more time. This cigar is a Donnelly Honduras Katrina de Mi Vida, Connecticut. Profile this bad boy is medium. Rapper Honduran, binder Habano. Fillers Honduras and Nicaragua. So this cigar is dubbed the sister and brings sweet, mild, but complex tasting notes of earth, coffee, and spice. And this, this cigar would fit right in with the uh, the Drew Estate ladies. Yes. So this, is, so this is from LCC. So it gives a little description on each car about the cigar. So this, so one this says, is an LCC cigar? No, not, a, not a luxury gotcha, cigar club.com, gotcha. not a branded LCC cigar. Okay, because uh, I've got one of those right here. Okay. So this one, let's see, this says, if you have been with the core since its inception, you will be familiar with the Clown Cigar, we did a review on that yep. one way back, uh, which was sent out in the earlier days. We are including the Katrina de Mi Vida in the celebration of the Mexican holiday, Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead in English. Man, you nailed all that. Right? Man, I was fooling with that. It's the, it's the, <laughs> the egg. Spanish man. is strong right? with this it's one. Right? It's the egg, no. <laughs> this is why. Yes, sir. Oh, man. All right, now we are moving on to the Palladium box. Now, on top of some good looking sticks in the Palladium box this month, looks like we actually got a new sticker in the Palladium box. I don't know if you've had a chance to see this one yet. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a good looking sticker. See there, we got the LCC logo on there. Very cool. Let's see, so I guess we can go ahead and start with the ones that we are smoking. You have one at the Palladium box? I do, and this one it looks like it's actually an LCC branded cigar. Okay, so yeah, so we'll start with, start, start, let's start with that one. So this is the Dapper Desvalido LCC Exclusive Short in Bellicoso. Now, this cigar, I'm telling you, like I'm only less than an inch in already. 
But if the flavor profile of this cigar continues, you're in for a treat. So speaking of, let's see what it is. So this short belly Bellicosa was Dapper's first Figurado Vitola. Flavors are very bold and complex, accentuated by the belly Bellicosa taper. We are extremely excited to offer this exclusive cigar to the club. No actual tasting notes noted on the card, so you're gonna have to go ahead and let the people know what flavor notes you're getting off of that cigar. Yeah, it's definitely a lighter medium body. I'd say somewhere between a light and a medium body cigar. You've probably seen me already a couple of times uh, retrohale this. Very, very smooth on the retrohale. I would equate this at least right now with a nice after dinner kind of dessert style smoke. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of cream, a little bit of that light coffee note in there, a little bit of bread note in there. Very, very pleasant, very, very smooth. I'm hoping the flavor profile on this continues all the way down because I'm really enjoying this one. Okay, so, so the profile, let's see, so the breakdown for this steak is full, full body. Maybe it kicks up a little bit as you get further down. Right now, it's definitely a light to medium body. Rapper's Ecuadorian, binder's undisclosed. <laughs> LCC's on the undisclosed right Un now. Undisclosed. <laughs> Filler, Nicaraguan, USA, and a little bit more of that undisclosed. <laughs> a little more of that undisclosed. All five right. by seven, five point seven five in length by fifty-two ring gauge. So okay, you go right there. Let's see. So let's go. Go ahead and go down the line. So the and next real one, quick before you go yes. on, typically, and I'm always a little skeptical of Bellicoso cigars because Bellicoso, Torpedo, anything like that. You know, when you start getting, you know, around those tapered edges, that's really when the tobacco has a tendency to get very compressed. So if you don't have an experienced roller or a roller who knows what they're doing, oftentimes when you're smoking a Torpedo or Bellicoso shaped cigar, the draw on those cigars tends to be very tight and it's very difficult to get any smoke out of it. This, I think I said right off the bat when I cut it, perfect draw. Like not too little, not too much, perfect draw. I don't know who LCC has rolling these things, but they did a fantastic job. So for those of our, you know, Titan members coming in, might have some new folks in here or some old school folks that we know what Torpedo is. You know, we know what the different shape sizes are, but what is a Bellicoso? So a Bellicoso cigar is like the front or the foot of the cigar is very much like a normal cigar. It's just kind of your rounded circular shape to the, front of the cigar. The back of it though is shaped more like the Torpedo and that's a Bellicoso cigar. So it comes up to a tapered end right there. I don't know if you guys can kind of see how it's tapered there. Yep, see it right there. That is what you would call a Bellicoso shaped cigar. Let's talk about yours. We'll save mine for last. Oh, you're gonna save yours for last? We'll save mine All for right, last. You're just gonna make me keep getting up out of my chair then. <laughs> I am. We'll, we'll. All right, got it. We'll save mine for last. <laughs> Go for it. What's Let's next? See. So the next one is a Wildfire from Wildfire Cigar Company. The single, limited edition. This looks like a nice cigar too. Profile this bad boy is medium plus, wrapper Ecuadorian, binder Nicaragua, filler Nicaragua, seven by 50. Okay. Nice good size cigar right there. This one here, see the single brings bold notes of barbecue, toasted, well just barbecue, comma, Toasted sugar and earth. Ooh. I've never heard those taste notes from any cigar I've ever I'm not either. had. That sounds super interesting. So, so just in case y'all thought y'all heard, heard wrong, I'm gonna repeat that real quick. The single brings bold notes of barbecue, toasted sugar, and a little earth. It's like, is this like something you would want to smoke while you're out barbecuing, maybe? Maybe, you know okay. what I'm saying? Or it might be something like, you know, you eat dessert, but you know, I'm not really hungry, I might have a cigar for dinner, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see. The next would be, I think we had some uh, some petite Coronas of this one. This is I, I know we've definitely had one of these in the box before, I don't remember what size. It was the core box, it was those little ones, where they gave us six cigars, it was two of each. Bingo. So we got two of those little bitty ones in our box. So, but this one here, the Gold Series Box Press Churchill. This is a medium profile cigar. Wrapper Ecuadorian, binder Ecuadorian, filler Dominican, size seven by 50. It's another box press. I don't know if you said that. Nope, I didn't say that. Yes, I did say that. Gold okay. Series Bolt Box Press Churchill. This cigar $20. Okay. Uh, I remember smoking the other ones and I, I really enjoyed them, so I'm excited to have that one in the box as well. Tasting notes for this bad boy, bold notes of cream, cedar, 
wheat, and sweet vanilla will accompany you from start to finish. The cedar for sure. I don't know that I got the wheat flavor out of that. I'd have to smoke it again and see if that's a note that comes through. So I heard my boy said, you might have to smoke it again. See if you get those tastes in those. Sometimes you smoke a cigar for the first time. Sometimes you just usually get, just getting acclimated to smoking that yeah. particular cigar. You're getting used to the draw of that cigar. You're getting used to the feel of it on your lips. And you might not be paying attention to all the flavor notes that are coming out of the cigar. So you gotta smoke it twice to get all the taste. Yeah, and I think out. there's, I think there, I mean, if you've got two of the same cigar, this is what I would typically recommend. If you're looking at developing your flavor profile further. I would smoke the cigar without looking at anybody else's reviews, reading any reviews on it, reading any flavor notes or anything on it, and see what you can actually pull out of the cigar. Write it down maybe in a little cigar journal or something like that. And then when you have your other cigar, follow along with somebody who's doing a review on it and see if you can pull some of those flavor notes out of it. Because like I said, wheat was something that obviously came through for whoever was doing the flavor profile mm -hmm. for this particular cigar. That's not one of the flavor notes I remember having with it. But now that I'm aware that that's supposed to be something that's coming through, I'll pay a little bit more attention to it the next time I smoke a cigar and see if that's a flavor note I get. There you go. Next on the list is Big Sky Cigar Company, the Butterroot Toro. You know, we've had some Big Sky cigars in boxes before, but not this one. I don't think it was that big. So this one, let's see. Profile for this is a medium plus. Wrapper is Habano, Binder Nicaragua, filler. Nicaragua. Oh. And this is a six by fifty-four. Finder, filler, Nicaraguan. Rapper Habana. Oh. Almost, bro. Almost. Not quite. Not quite. Let's see. So let's see. Uh, this medium body cigar is bold and flavorful. Expect traditional Nicaraguan tasting notes met with the spicy, a spice only Habano tobacco can bring. Okay. Last but not least. Well, we got yours. We got yours. This is one of those cigars that we talk too much. It has a tendency to go out. Yeah, it's gonna go out on it. That's why okay. I'm trying to make sure I puff in between, you know, conversation segments to make sure it doesn't go out on me. This one's been going like a champ. I'm telling you, you don't like so this one. So this one is the Al Aladino Corojo Reserva Corona Number Four. Number Four. Number Four. All right. So I like this. I chose this one for the episode specific because it's a five inch by forty four ring gauge cigar. You know what I'm saying? So nice, let's see. So give me, uh, I'll get up this time. I <laughs> appreciate it, my knees are getting I, out. I'll get up this time. So this, <laughs> this is what the cigar looks like. Nice small stick right here, maybe 45 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour stick. A little longer. Yeah, they, they, the Titan family may not know it, but Cigar Titan's a little older than he may look, so. <laughs> getting up, getting down, these knees ain't what they this used is to a, be. It's a movement, but. <laughs> All right, reset. You know, you gotta reset after that one. Profile is bad boy, is medium. Rapper is Honduran, Binder, Honduran, okay, Filler, Honduran. <laughs> <laughs> Say the best for last, baby. I feel like one of those, like Mexican announcers at like a soccer game when they. <laughs> Let's see, so this one is, let's see, this beautiful brown sugar will bring ample tasting notes of bacon spice, coffee, and earth. Okay. So I caught the bacon spice. Yeah, you did. Yeah, caught the bacon spice, the earth, very little of it. Um, the brown sugar, haven't got that yet. That might be the, that might be the unsweetened cocoa I tasted that, but I'm not getting this brown sugar. And that could come through towards the middle or end of the cigar too. You know, some cigars have a tendency to change their flavor profile. And I got, you're smoking it. I got a little bit of like a old brand almost. And sometimes like some brands might have a little bit of brown sugar in the right. flake if you have it. So boom, got it right there. Cigar type note the hell you talking about. So now, Brother Stogie. Hmm. We got two things left to cover. Mm-hmm. If you wanted to invest yourself in a core box, mm. how much would that set you back? 18 Oh, there it is. <laughs> you gotta watch out. You know, one of these days, 
<laughs> right you know in. what I'm saying? 1899. So, let's see. But this Palladium box, right? This Palladium box has some big boys in it. It does. Yeah. Let's see. 1550, $14, $20, $10.50, and $10. This box will range you like around a little over seventy dollars, but it's only what fifty four dollars and some change. Yeah, that sounds about right. Something like that. <laughs> that sounds about right. For the Palladium box. <laughs> so the good thing about this is, like I said, you know, if you're busy like us, my boy's always on the road. He always on his phone because of work or whatever. I'm always in the streets, going to clients' houses and shit, working. So I'm, I'm hardly. By the time I'm done with my day, all the brick and mortars are closed. Right. Or I just don't feel like standing in line. And buying one. Right. So the good thing about this, put my order in. They send everything out monthly on a specific day, depending on which box you get for the month. And you ain't worry about nothing. You open your mailbox and boom. There it is. Four box. Christmas a plenty of You know what I'm saying? Christmas for yourself. For yourself. If you get this for somebody else, remember it. It's gonna come out of your account monthly. That's right. Now. We gotta pick a best band in the box. And mm -hmm. I want you to take a look at what I think are the two contenders for the best band in the box, and that is the LCC branded cigar and the Deus de Lewis of what? The, the Deus de Lewis, okay. <laughs> yeah. Lewis Cuevas, if you if you if you are watching this video, forgive him. He said Dea de Lewis, all right? <laughs> so <laughs> let's see. That isn't that isn't that isn't nice one. That LCC branded box. And you know, I'm gonna go with that one too, but my winner, my winner, winner is the Dia de los Muertos Cigar. Or keep it easy for him, the Day of the Dead stick that was in. I would the have core to box. agree. I, and maybe it's just because of the color. I'm like, ooh, a shiny thing, and it's popping. But uh, definitely a lot of style and a lot of personality to this band right here. I agree. I really like it. But this, for sure, close second. Very beautiful band. Shout out to LCC. Hey man, so yo, if y'all enjoyed this LCC. Wait, but we forgot to say what we're thankful for. We did, man. We can't end a Thanksgiving episode. Now this is obviously going to air a couple of days after Thanksgiving, but yes. you know, it's still the holiday weekend. People are out spending time with their families. True. We thought it would be a cool idea for us to come on here and say what we're thankful for. Go ahead, bro. So I'm thankful for the amazing community we have here with the Cigar Titan family. You know, we, uh, We've spent the last almost three years now. Can you believe that? Next February. Our very first video was February 19th. Yeah. 2019. That's crazy. I can't believe we've been doing this for almost three years. But love our family, love our community out there. You know, I'm very grateful for the people I have in my life. Obviously, you know, Brother Stogie, his family, his kids. Yes. You know, the people that are closest to me. Big shout out to Anna for helping put and wrap all of this stuff up and helping support the channel over the last three years. You know, my brother came into town today. Big shout out to him and his family and his beautiful daughters. I, I don't know that I could ask for more. You know, my sister out in Arizona, I wish uh, I got to spend a little bit more time with her, you know, but we, we keep in touch when we can. Yes. Thankful for the job that I have, thankful for the promotion that yes. I got this year. Very, very grateful Congrats for that. Congrats to Cigar Titan for his promotion. Thank you. Um, yeah, man, I just, this has been a very humbling year. It's been a very humbling year and I have a lot to be grateful for. And I think all of us, you know, with all the crazy stuff that's going on right now in the world, we need to take some time out of our day really to just, you know, be grateful for the things that we have, you know, extend some gratitude Reflect on the things that we have. Reflect on the things that are going right mm -hmm. in your life. Don't always focus on the things that are going negative. I know how easy that can be. But spend some time thinking about the things that are going right in your life and the people that are there that love and support you because I'm telling you, this could be a very, very dark place when you don't yeah. have those people there cheering you on. That's true. That's true. What about you, Brother Stoney? Man, I'm going to go ahead and segue off of the ones you said. So, thankful for this community. First and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm thankful that we've been able to connect with people all over the country. Yeah, all over the, the world. world. Yeah. We have people who come in to watch our videos on the premiere from the Bahamas, yeah. from Canada, 
from China, the UK, from UK, yep. Australia, you name it. You know what I'm saying? We, I am thankful that we have been able to do that and build the foundation to where people enjoy watching us. They've, they've respected our crap that we have built upon and they trust our judgment. They believe in what we do and they show up every damn Sunday and they watch our videos. Yeah. It's so humbling to see somebody say like, you guys are the best cigar channel out there. Like you, you know have no mean? idea what that means to us. We, we, we deeply appreciate that. I am thankful that, you know, I've been, you know, COVID free. I'm, I'm nice and healthy. Thankful that my job is nice. I'm flourishing in my, my career. Mm -hmm. uh, my kids are growing nice and strong. I'm thankful that I can bring them to the studio, to headquarters, and they leave me the hell alone while I do my <laughs> thing. You know, thankful for the old lady who, you know, helps supply some of the goodies that we bring on the show. And she don't bother me either when she know we doing our thing here. Gotta be thankful for that. And, uh... Yeah, man, I'm just thankful that God has just blessed us. Yeah. God has blessed us. God has looked over us. And yes, there's lots to be thankful for. Um, please use this day. I hope you guys spent your Thanksgiving being thankful. Hope you guys didn't dwell on that crazy ass uncle that always comes over <laughs> drunk. You know what I'm saying? Because he too, he too needs someone to say, hey, we appreciate you. We're glad you came. We're glad you made it out. No matter if you ask and ask, just put him in the guest room. Let's get the <laughs> shit off until tomorrow. All right? So. Do that. We hope you spent the time just being thankful. We hope you hugged someone. We hope you kissed someone. We hope you said we missed you to somebody. Because things that have happened in my family, my wife's family, you never know who you might not see the next day. So take that extra time to hug somebody, kiss somebody, tell them. I don't text the shit. Stop texting people. All right? Call them. Wait till you see them in person. Tell them, hey, I love you. Bro, you've been there for me. I love you. Mama, I love you. That's it. That was it, man. That's all the time we got this week. It is, man. We, I'm glad y'all, you know, hope y'all did y'all Black Friday shopping and shit. You know what I'm saying? Over it. Don't wait till the last minute. Nope, but stay my Don't black, be this guy. Nope, stay my black <laughs> ass in the house. I'm not standing no long ass lines for nothing, because, no, Amazon be my best friend. Hope y'all enjoyed this LCC episode for November for the LusciousCigarClub.com monthly subscription service, the most luxurious cigar club on the planet. Not on the planet. Ooh, that was a mouthful, huh? That was. Right? <laughs> Very well said. Right? Do us a favor, man. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this in the home and you still got your family members over for Thanksgiving, have them subscribe. Right. If they don't like it, we talk about some outside of cigars on this channel. Right. They might enjoy, enjoy some little laughter. Tell them to subscribe. Also, to hit the like button. That one. It's that color. Hit the like button. Smash it. Punch it. Help us with the cigar algorithm. Even the algorithms aren't even favor cigar. <laughs> Hashtag some funny shit in the comments. <laughs> that way we can be spread all over the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do us a favor, hit that bell so you get new notification every time cigar time is posted a video for y'all. Till the next time. Live how you smoke. Smoke how you live. That's smooth, baby. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>